Areas that Delhi was in fact facing a challenge in first in the availability of beds and the cost capping that is being tackled. On the other side, the issue of testing. There again, the Delhi government has taken major decisions after the centre's advice to ramp up testing. Amid a surge in COVID cases, Delhi government has now managed to accelerate the level and scale of testing to a huge amount. 20,000 samples were tested in Delhi yesterday, out of which 2,000 tested positive through RT-PCR and 456 tested positive through antigen tests. Now, 2,877 fresh cases came up yesterday after this massive uh, increase in the number of testing and 65 deaths also reported in the last 24 hours. The city currently has a figure of over 50,000 COVID cases, including recoveries. The other important development that has taken place is the introduction of the antigen test. Like I said, 456 tested positive after this new test kits were introduced. Now, uh, these are cheaper and uh, cheaper and quicker option for coronavirus testing. The rapid antigen testing has begun already. On day one, a total of 456 tested positive. 7,040 people were tested in 193 containment zone areas in Delhi. Now, Delhi government has now decided that it is going to get an additional consignment of 6 lakh antigen testing kits in order to further amplify and also uh, augment the testing process. Let me get in uh, Ayushman joining us with more input. So Ayushman, this is supposed to make uh, testing more accessible, affordable and hopefully more accurate as well. But give us the feedback that you get from day one in terms of how efficient this entire process was. Afrida, if you see uh, the number somewhere uh, less than 10% uh, of the total uh, tests uh, are being positive, but definitely more than 7,000 antigen tests were conducted in the national capital uh, and 456 people turned out to be positive. Uh, this takes the cumulative number of tests in the national capital post 20,000 and this for the first time that the national capital has tested more than 20,000 people in a day. Uh, antigen kits are to be employed in the containment zone and also in the hospital where the frontline workers also may witness the uh, COVID symptoms. In the national capital, uh, it is expected that 6 lakh kits will be coming. First lot of 50,000 has come. Today, another lot will be delivered. Uh, the Delhi government is expecting that somewhere after the okay. uh, em after employing the antigen kits, that uh, the, uh, the number of testing, which in Delhi we are seeing it is lagging behind, that definitely can be improved and people can be mapped and also traced yes. in the containment zone, Safrida. Mm -hmm. Absolutely important development, isn't it, Ayushman, given the fact that the success of this uh, kind of testing, which is not the RT-PCR, uh, but a simpler form of testing, if it succeeds and if it uh, yields positive results in terms of efficiency and accuracy, it can perhaps be applied in other parts as well. Any information you are getting on uh, the government's plan to expand this, given that the directions uh, initially came from the centre to ramp up testing? Well, Afrita, it is very important to mention here that it is also in a way RT-PCR only because it is not the antibody test, it is antigen test that employs the same RT-PCR method in which the viral infection load is detected in the testing kit by using okay. the uh, nozzle uh, or a throat swab. Now, if you, can, if you talk about the all across the nation, definitely okay. the company uh, which is a, a company from South Korea which is having a plant in Manasar, uh, they have been told that uh, one once the uh, required amount of kits are supplied in the national capital, the focus will be other parts of the country where uh, these com the company will be providing the kits so that uh, testing can also be ramped up in those areas as well. Right. In that sense, uh, the kits are going to be, uh, of course, first made available to the national capital and depending on its success, might be in fact applied in other parts as well. Thanks for joining us, Ayushman, with your inputs. We are getting, uh, stay on with us, Ayushman, we are getting in.